Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw Pikachu's face in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new artboard, 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And the first thing we're going to start on is creating the mouth. And we're going to select the pen tool, zoom in nice and close. Make sure you have your smart guides on. If you go up to view, down to smart guides, just make sure that they are selected and then left click anywhere on the artboard. Now position your pen tool over here somewhere and then left click and drag out. Then hold down the alt key and left click on this anchor point. In fact, we can actually deselect this altogether. So just go to select and deselect there's the shortcut key there. Then if you position your pen tool just a little bit in from the edge, left click along that path, line your pen tool up with the first anchor point we created. You can see that pink guide there, that smart guide, really helpful. And then left click and hold shift to keep it horizontal and just drag that curve out. Again, we can go to select and deselect. And you should have something that looks like this. So now we can select over both of these lines we've created and just make sure in the stroke palette that you've got your cap set to round and your corner set to round. So those are the middle options. So it just rounds off any corners and any ends of lines. So we can then select both of these lines by dragging over them. Go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and then object, transform, reflect, and reflect this along the vertical axes. We can then drag this out until it snaps nicely in place there. And then with the direct selection tool, if we just drag over these endpoints, we can go to object, path, and join. And then at the bottom as well, just drag over where those two endpoints meet, go to object, path, and join. We can also use the direct selection tool to select both of these shapes, or now this one shape, and just remove the fill. So we're just left with these lines. And if we select over everything, we can go into the stroke palette and just increase the width a little bit. Next, what we're going to do is select the ellipse tool. Actually, we can do this using the pen tool again. So if we left click on this path and then drag this straight across and left click on the other side and then hold that as we drag it out, we can create the tongue. So let go. And then again, go to select and deselect. Now what you can do is select over everything. I'm going to make this a little bit narrower in terms of width. So if I hold down the Alt key and drag in from one of the middle anchor points, we can just nudge this in a little bit, just so it's a little bit narrower. Now I'm going to create the nose. So again, with the pen tool, make sure that I am central to the mouth. So again, these smart guides are really helpful. Just left click. And we're going to create half a nose. So similar to what we did with the mouth because there's a lot of symmetry involved in this. So all we have to do is create one half. And then the second half will be exactly the same but reflected. So you can use the direct selection tool to click on these anchor points and just adjust the curves until you're happy. Once you're happy, select this half of a nose, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and again, object, transform, reflect and reflect along the vertical axes. Hold shift and drag this across until it snaps in place. And then using the direct selection tool, just drag over where those anchor points meet and go to object, down to path and select join. Again, for the bottom two, drag over, go to object, path and join. So now those two halves are joined into one complete shape. And the nose is actually black anyway, so we can select all of this and just swap the fill and the stroke. 
And again, now this is one shape, we can select it and I can just reduce the height slightly. Now let's create the eyes. Select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to create a circle. We have a black fill, so that's great. Select the circle, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, hold shift to keep this proportional and just drag that down. And we can select white from our swatches palette and we'll position that up here in the top right corner of the eye. And we just move these over to the left a bit and increase the size slightly. Now again, we're going to create a copy of this circle by going to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, or you can use the ellipse tool to draw a new circle. Either way is absolutely fine. And hold shift, just scale this circle up slightly. These are those red rosy cheeks. Swap the fill and the stroke. And you can either select the same stroke width as the mouth, or you can select the eyedropper tool and just left click on any of these lines and it will match that same treatment for the stroke width. So once you're happy with the positioning of that, we can select these rosy cheeks and the eye, go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place, and we can actually drag these out to the right. And you'll see these smart guides again, helping us with our spacing. And I can bring this eye back in as well. Okay, so we have most of Pikachu's face done. Now let's add some color. So if we select our rectangle tool and just left click and draw a four sided shape. Let's double click the yellow swatch in our swatches palette, select global. And we're going to try and create a Pikachu-esque yellow. Once you're happy with your yellow, just make sure that this fills the entire artboard. It's most likely on top. So if you go to object down to arrange and select center back, and what we can do is we can go to object and actually lock this layer just so we don't accidentally move it. We can still double click the swatch in the swatches palette. And because we made this a global swatch, as we edit this swatch now, it will update across any instance of this in the document. Now you can see here that we've got some white appearing from this shape. If I just select this line here with the direct selection tool, you can see that it's got a white fill I didn't remove from before. So let's simply just remove that fill like so. And we can hold shift to select both of these circles that are the cheeks. And again, if we double click on a red swatch, select global, and then we can adjust the sliders until we get a color that we are happy with. And click OK. Now we're going to do the mouth. So at the moment, if I go into preview mode, that's Command Y on the Mac and Control Y on the PC, you'll see that these are made up of lots of lines, lots of strokes. If we select over everything, and go to Object Expand, leave Fill and Stroke selected and click OK. These are now no longer strokes, but they are individual shapes. And we can actually select all of these by dragging over them. And in the Pathfinder palette, select the top left option, which is Unite. And by clicking this, it will combine all of these individual shapes into one complete shape. And what we can do now we've got this shape is we can select it, select our live fill paint bucket. And in the swatches palette, we can select a color. So I don't see a swatch there that is right. So I'm going to double click any swatch, select global, and I'm going to create a new one. So this is going to be for part of the mouth now. 
So I've created that swatch. I've got my live fill paint bucket selected. And now I can click in either half of this shape and it will add that fill. So let's click on a pink swatch now. Let's double click, select global, tick preview. And now I'm going to create the pink color for the tongue. And once you're happy with that, select OK. And again, with that pink selected as your main color and your live fill paint bucket, you can just click in that bottom half and it fills in that color. And as these are global swatches, you can double click a swatch, select preview and edit this at any time. And there we go. We've created Pikachu's face in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.